Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, just a quick update, I'm way behind on my Thousand Suns. I got essentially six-ish hours of, of solid painting time and guaranteed painting time left before I pretty much have to have them done. And I haven't touched the 16 infantry yet, but we got their heads, which I'll get back to in a minute. They're the purpose of this video. All the backpacks out, some weapons, and all the bodies built on the base. And I also have the four vehicles done. Three Rhinos and a Vindicator. These guys are actually done like on Monday, I believe. Well, the Vindicator is on Sunday, and the other three were done Monday. There's still pics of them on the Fortress Monastery blog if you want to see it. So, on to the uh, point of this video heads. I did a blog post on this already months ago on how I make my Thousand Sunsets. And pretty much, it falls down to Warhammer Fantasy heads. Uh, from the Chaos Warrior Regiment box, and then the plumage is from High Elf Archer and High Elf Warrior boxes. The Warrior box only gives you the double plume that I believe I showed you in a little progress report of the five combat squads. And definitely on the Fortress Monastery. And um, the rest are obvious. Um, now how, how I use these plumage pieces is... I use the crescent moon and the regular single feather for my generic troopers. And I say the more extravagant plumage, like the double and the triple and the triple with a crescent moon on it, which I don't have here because I don't need them for elites and commanders and whatnot. So that's that. First thing you do is obviously clip all the pieces off the sprue and you'll get the heads that look anywhere something like this this is one style of oh, let's get a bit of lighting one style of head come on folks there we go it's a chaos warrior regiment head it's a nice looking head but the problem you can see is the horns now a quick note this is for doing thousand suns pre heresy if you wanted to do this for um let's say a post heresy chaos force or a crusade error when the horse, like actual horse heresy using a traitor legion. You can leave the horns on for most of them. They look cool. It'll save you a bunch of time if you want to just take the heads and paint them when you're done. But other than that, the only other legion I can think of in crusade when they were still loyal that can keep the horns on are really only night lords in my opinion. Maybe alpha legion, maybe. But mostly night lords because of the whole strike terror into your enemy bit that they use. Okay, so, we got the heads. First step, cutting those bad horns off. And that's what this, oh, not that guy, that guy's done. This guy. This guy's got the horns cut off. Notice I left the little earbud parts on, where the horns meet the helmet, because they work really well. Ooh, out of focus. Come on, focus. There we go. They work really well for the earbud parts of a helmet, like where the communication and stuff might be, or just to make it look more like a uh, sci-fi helmet. I also just flattened down the top a little bit so for the feather to have a better grasping area. And um, so yeah, that's what that's the first step, the big step. Also, one thing to note is you can see off here, oh, focus, focus. You can see on this head a little mold line. I love these things because for my thousand sons, they tell me exactly where to stop paying the gold and leave it red. Because, you know, they have a gold front half on the helmets that I do, for most of them anyway, and the red rear half. And this is perfect for showing you where you want to do a two toned head, like split like this, on where to start and where to stop. Or where to stop, I should say. So if you want to do like an ultramarine helmet, who's got. Remember the honor guards, he has a gold face mask that works. If you want to do uh, night lords and paint up like, I don't know, bronze or white, you can do it there. If you want to know, I don't even know. I can't even think of two tone colors. Pretty much gold, anything really, pre or post heresy. It's really nice. Um, you could clean it up if you don't use it, but it's kind of not noticeable. I know some of you perfectionists out there are like, ah, mode lines, must clean it. But um, for two tones, I think it works perfectly to stay there. Alright. Second step. 
choosing which of the um, bits to put on your helmet for the plumage. Once you choose that, I the, the last step is gluing them down. Uh, we'll focus. Full, there we go. This guy has the crescent moon thing on. They're kind of finicky to glue because it's a round surface. You can trim with clippers or file down to make them flat for better fitting. And just take time with it. Take time. Be patient. Uh, and you'll get the fit you want. Now, only thing to talk about. I talked about the earbuds before. And let's see if I can find the helmet. Um, here we go. This guy. This helmet. Looks great. Problem is. You can see the earbud parts, way too high, and they're not even the right shape. Now, it doesn't matter, they don't have to be circular, but they're kind of an odd triangle with a curve in the back. And they're um, way too high to really be ears. For stuff like this, if you're not leaving the horns on, it's fine to uh, cut the entire part off flush with the helmet. And that gets you this guy. Who, uh, he still looks good for purposes of the model, especially when painted. But uh, no ear buds on them. Okay. One other thing to note when you're doing this, I know people use Zappa Gap. I like Zappa Gap. I use it. I suggest highly, since this is all plastic pieces, to use plastic glue. Um, I use Games Workshop's plastic glue. I don't know. See, I'm almost out of it actually. I don't know if it's universal for all plastic glue, but this one doesn't stick to anything but plastic. So if you get it on your fingers, it doesn't bind them together. It doesn't stick your fingers to the model. And this is why I recommend plastic glue in general. If it do, if they all do that, and if not, the Games Workshop one. Somebody can correct me on which one does what. Or I should say, if the other companies do the same thing. And the reason why I suggest it is, I mean, look at this. This is a small piece. My thumbnail is huge in comparison. And then you got to put on the helmet, which is not a lot of room. And you want to... Uh, Get on your helmet and get it positioned so it's not on an angle really, or not on too much out of an angle, and hold it there while it cures a little bit. And Zappa Gap will get all over your fingers, even if you're very careful. And any other glue will get all over your fingers, and it's not so much the problem with the glue getting on your fingers and sticking to your other fingers, it's when your finger sticks to the model, the helmet or the plumage, and breaks the piece off from the head, or sticks to your finger and not the, the helmet. That's the problem. So, that's why I recommend the plastic glue. Um, if they all do it, then get whatever one's cheapest and has the most volume. I I love it. I'll, one thing with plastic glue is it kind of melds the two plastic together, like melts it temporarily or partially and fuses them together, like a weld. That's the word, weld. Uh, so, if you want to do it on a PC, you might want to break off later. Don't use plastic glue. You'll have a hell of a time breaking it off. You probably won't be able to, really, for like shoulder pads and whatnot. But uh, other than that, I love it, especially on plastic models, because uh, it does. It has a little bit longer curing time, so you can maneuver the pieces how you want it, or clean it off a bit, and you can just use your fingers to wipe excess off without worrying about it, because nothing sticks to it, only plastic to plastic. So that's that. I got 16 dudes. Um to do fully. The longest part for me takes the shoulder pads because of the trimming and putting the transfer decals with the legion symbol on them. So we'll see how that goes. Um, wish me luck. Uh, next time we hear from me it'll be with a completed Thousand Sun 1750 point army and I'll do the breakdown with the army on that video. Uh, until then, take it easy.